Well, we're in the old uh, LT. Oh, I gotta turn that radio down. The old LT 9000 Ford here. It does help if I actually put it in gear. And we got that red Mac box that we ended up keeping when we sold that Mac farm, our Mac truck from uh, the other farm. The, uh, ended up working out a deal. Oh yeah, the synchros in this transmission are obsolete um, from high to low range. Sometimes it doesn't do it, but normally it does. Other than that, really nice shift in transmission. But besides that, that we ended up keeping that bo uh, this box here with the deal. And I just five minutes ago got done setting it up on this truck. I had to make it match our front quick attach for the front bracket so the box don't flip off. And then I had a torch pinholes in our sliding kit to put new pins in it. Oh, there's Clarence Brown with diesel. To tell you that it's just farmers going hard right now would be a lie. Clarence Brown has been going on the weekends right now because of corn season. Uh, they've been saying because uh, it's just that crazy trying to keep up with all the farms with fuel. Corn season's a different animal compared to grass chopping just because you need so many trucks because the volume of feed that's moving. Oh, the synchro's in, didn't shift bad right there. So you gotta give a big shout out to the fuel companies. It's not just them, there's other fuel companies, but that's who's coming here right now. Um, they're putting in the hours too, just to keep all the trucks and tractors rolling. Well, we made it to Richford here. And Kristoff just started at that end with Alex, but I don't think he's gonna make it. Um, he'll, he'll make it past me, basically, but that's about it. We'll get this old, this old kitty cat, that's what it's got in it, turned around. This is from down there to here. It's almost full. Ford looks like it can go about 10 years now. No comment. No, nothing. Looks like it's falling apart. I'll let you looking at it. The old box that was on here was rough. First load of corn silage that this thing has this box is hauled out of a field. Oh man. Three years. It's not the this truck has hauled plenty, but this box is off that other truck and it hasn't hauled out of a field. I wanna say three years, but out of the time. So we're dumping the old the old Ford here. Alex just dumped her load. Got Marcus pushing Stanley and then Simon's right behind me in the deer packing. And he's in the deer because the 86 last night, right when we started chopping a little bit back here, Stan said it wasn't steering good. And I don't really have time to figure that out. It really, it takes two hands just to try to steer that sometimes you gotta drive forwards get it to uh, turn the direction you want. And then 
I heard a clunk in the front front end, so maybe it's deer and hard because the U-joint's binding up or there's a gear in the front diff, and then when you turn, it can't kind of do the differential thing and counter the, uh, just do what a differential does and let the wheels spin freely of each other. So, for this thing, I gotta put the PTO on, close this tailgate. But yeah, so I didn't have time today to look into that, so I got parked and we put a different tractor there. What do you want to tell them? There's nothing to tell. Ripped off. Good thing is it's not getting unhooked till corn's done now. Yeah. <laughs> I think we need a new jack. It's it's fucked. Ready to get those. <laughs> you have to. All right. She's gonna keep hauling corn. That's how Alex made sure she doesn't have to unhook her dump box. It's not <laughs> it is what it is. Well, we'll record Alex dumping her load with her broken jack stand. That could be worse. It was pretty, it sucked the turn. It did suck the turn, at least you broke a shitty one. Yeah, No, she did not. <laughs> she came out of a driveway a little too, uh, straight on yes. uh, a steep driveway that we normally take kind of sideways yes, but I didn't wanna... and uh she didn't want to put in the ditch yeah. but instead she ripped our jack stand off which is better than rolling it i guess so i'm gonna go take over for marcus he's in the blade and i guess i already told you about the 86 i'll have to look into that at some point I don't know if there's a truck coming or something, but I'll take over for um, Marcus here. At least since we put that steel floor in, the feed slides out a lot better. Corn was never an issue, but grass used to be real shitty. So I need Marcus to come down, but I don't think he realizes that I was here. So they did cover the front 50 feet of this bunk this morning to get that done. Went up there with the Volvo, Kristoff did and packed it. And uh, yeah, that's how that's going. Alrighty, so we're on the bunk here. And who's riding with me? Um, Henry. Henry, do you want the camera? Yeah. Well, here, I'll hold it for a second so you can explain to them. So we're, we're pushing with uh, my 8480 here. It only has a uh, super singles on it, no duels. Same with the little 84. Simon had to get off the bunk because Alex needed him to help with, uh, they got to uncover some corn bunk for tomorrow for feeding. And we're doing, we're feeding right now here at the home farm. Um, ourselves. There was a, a little short-handed, but that's not the end of the world. We're getting by, right? Daddy is doing a lot of the feed in here, right? While I'm feeding over at the other farm. Do you ever help Daddy feed? You have you done? You, you did a couple groups with him. Yeah. Okay. So, anyways, what were you telling me that we need for Uncle's tractor? Dualies. Dualies. And now, how are we gonna do that? We can touch guys on. Wait, what? We can touch guys on. Okay, and how do we put them on? Because I don't have axles for that, that are long. We can put axles on this. We'll have to put longer axles on it? Yeah. Okay, could we put hub extensions on it? Would that work? Yeah. And then we could, we could bolt it out, right? 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 There could be a, a way back on the top. Wait, so we're skipping the dualies and getting more weight? So we got the one weight block, but Henry says we need two? Yeah. I thought we were talking about dualies. Well, we will cook that after when we go in the house. We'll talk about this after when we go in the house, off camera, what we're going to do? No, with the camera. Oh, we got to make sure they know? Yeah. 
Okay. Then they just... Then after when we go in the house, you will hold it. So you want to hold the camera right now? No, when we go in the house. Okay, I don't think they're going to come with us in the house. Then... Then we're done working for the day. Right? Yeah. Okay. Is there anything else you wanted to tell them? Yeah. What'd you want to tell them? What'd you do today? I did I did go to the house, then I did what the roof broke. The what broke? The roof. The what, roof? What yeah. roof? I was roof what it was in the garden. Oh your your roof in the garden broke? Yeah. yeah. For your bunk that you made? No. Mommy did put a roof. He was, there was a word, then it spoke it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, so you guys got your uh, your two minutes of Henry today, right? You had a lot to talk about, didn't you? Very busy day. He's He's been riding with everybody today. He spent a lot, a lot of time with Simon, packing in the John Deere. I what is his name? What do you call Simon? Lyman Hunters. What? Lyman Hunters. <laughs> uh, Henry's only four, so he's getting there, right? Four. You're four? So Henry really wants to hold the camera, right? Okay, yeah. so do this. Hold it nice and steady. And we're going to push up Phillips' load, right? Yeah. Well... You got to make sure you hold this, the camera well, steady. I'm going to push Phillips' load up. Yep. Then he's pulling the weight. I'm what? How do you do oh, that? Oh, how do I do it? Yeah. So there's the hydraulic controls. Yep. Like you're going to run the, the valves in the back yep. that you would normally like lift up and down and implement. Yep. I can switch some valves around in the back and that puts all the hydraulics to the front. Okay? Oh. So I'm using the same hydraulic remotes that I would like... Say we have a dump wagon on the back like you, that you like running in, right? No, I don't like using dump wagons. Oh, well then what do you like to use? I like to use that spinning on this. So you like running the John, the R? No, no that's Ninin. What so Dad's Ninin is the 7R that we planted with? Well, that, that's the old one. That's, oh, you mean the 7495. Yeah. Yeah, what goes... When we put that on the blade? Yeah. That's only for snow. Because it's not big enough tractor to push snow or to push corn with. Henry, you gotta hold it steady, okay? But yeah, we put the 7495 on here to push snow in the winter because it's a little tractor and, and who it does, not... does put who does push snow with this on the floor? I've pushed snow with this tractor. When? A couple years ago when the 74 was broken. Henry, you gotta hold the camera up, okay? Now, mom did meet my young Lyman by the yeah, bunk. Yeah, you can, if you look right over there, you see that bright light in the bunk? They just turned the back lights on and off. I can hear. Yeah, you can see it right there on the little then, camera. So they're uncovering, um... The bunk. Yeah, maybe three, three, four feet well, more. Well, we got Denley in the... Yeah, we got Stanley and the little 8480, right, Henry? Yeah. Well, then we got us in the big 84. Yes. Yep. I had a sneeze right there, so I turned the camera off. But they're chopping right behind the, the bunks right here, I meant. And Christos walking over to my mom. She's bringing some inoculant. And that way you can put that in and keep rolling. Trying to get this field specifically done before the rain because it's a little slopy. Um, and last year, you guys remember watching the videos? I think I had a whole video out of us chopping this field. Marcus nicknamed it the slip and slide because <laughs> everybody was just sliding. Um, but this year, it's really nice going. We're only running trucks in it. So they got about 30, that's a 30 acre field right there. Um, I think it's 30 acres maybe 20 20 or 30 one of the two um i think it's 30. so they got that to do right behind the bunk i don't think we'll finish it completely tonight but they're gonna put a hurting on it
I've got my LEDs off. I put four on the top. I think I remember showing that. And uh, when trucks are dumping right now, I, I like to turn them off. This is Kyle driving right now. Been a huge help, um, him helping out after work. Because uh, sometimes the people that we have driving that are also helping, they kind of got to go at the time that Kyle's able to come or um, we don't even have a driver until he comes for that truck. So it just works out good. And then I turn my lights back on. You can really see the shine difference when I turn them back on. But yeah, it's very helpful that he's, and we have a, and Matt and Tyler are helping. And Luke is also, he's gonna be here tomorrow. He was able to get a couple more days off from work. A couple days off work. Last time he was here, that was the weekend. He just came up. So he has no no work tomorrow. He's coming to help us. And we got Philip rolling in from getting loaded. But yeah, they're gonna finish that field up. Uh Christoph was saying today because there's an inch of rain planted on coming. So we got the field in Richford done. Even though the big field they did the front section that's the wettest been years since we chopped that with trucks only and nothing else no pulling it was amazing um, they did the wettest section the last the rest of it's pretty sandy ground so if it rains it's uh you can basically chop in a rainstorm if you wanted to it's pretty sandy uh or uh, in a day or two you can hammer it out again anyways so we went to richford today because we had the drivers and because it's harder ground so it doesn't like to dry back out as quickly it's still great growing ground it's just harder for when it rains so we did that today and now we're behind the barn here getting this slip and slide done that marcus likes to call it this white truck looks pretty slick he doesn't have his cab lights on he must be forgot to hit the switch all the way Look at that, now she looks, uh, that's one sexy looking truck. If I got a, if only my uh, muffler wasn't in the way. Thing looks nice at night. Looks nice during the day, but I had to make sure he turned all his lights on. He's only going behind the yard, so it's not like it matters, but. Gotta make sure she looks slick. Well, we got Kyle here. I think he's dumping his last load or he's got one more to do. He may have another one, I'm not sure. I can't really see much of the field. But, hammering it today. Well, that is the end of the video. Kinda wasn't the best one today, just because everything that was going on, I wasn't able to get a lot of recording. But I got Simon here, he's parking the little 84. John Deere, he was running earlier, but he switched tractors when Stan went home. Cause that one's a lot heavier. That one weighs 30,000 and some change. We weighed it last year. Um, this one only like 20, 27,000 something with the setup it's at. It's definitely wish it weighed more. But that one has loaded tires. So 